A number of years ago, Christine's sister's husband, Andrew, went to the Democratic Republic of Congo to a village called Lawamba to dig a well. The village had no water supply, so it was an important job. It was hard work, it was very hot, and only one of them at any time could go down the well. And they needed to go very deep. It was about a metre across and about 10 metres deep by the time they finished. Just before they got to the end, they almost gave up. They hadn't found water, the air was stagnant and they couldn't breathe down there. So it was getting impossible to dig. So they had to have a think what else they could do to solve the problem. And they came up with an in a simple but ingenious idea. They used the air intake from a tractor and put a pipe on the air intake, switched the engine on and the pipe pumped um, fresh air, cool fresh air down into the bottom of the well and it was a, set up a, a cycle of air so that meant that they could carry on digging. So they carried on and in the next couple of days, I think actually on the last day that Andrew was there in the three weeks total, they found water. They dug a little bit more to get a reservoir of water and then they climbed out and celebrated. Sometimes it's like that in life. If we want to go deep with God, it may well be hard work and you might feel at times that you can't keep going. You might need to do something unexpected to solve a problem or break through, but it'll be worth it in the end. So if you're at that point, just keep going. It'll lead to celebration. It'll lead to a supply of living water and it'll lead to eternal life. Revelation 22 verse 17 says, Let the one who is thirsty come, and let the one who wishes take the free gift of the water of life. It's yours for the taking. Thank you.